YouTube, what is going on, man? It is Dill, and we are back here with another update of my best Dolphins team team in Madden 22 Ultimate Team. We're going to get it started with a lineup update, and then we're going to go ahead, hop into a head to head season game, see if we can go ahead, get the dub. Before we go ahead and do all that, I do want to go ahead, bring back the comment of the day. Today's words going to my guy Dylan Proper right here. First off, he had a great first name. Second off, he said he just found the channel and he's been loving it. Hey man, I greatly appreciate that. If you want to go ahead, have a chance to win comment of the day, make sure to leave a comment down below. Today we got upgrades everywhere and the first thing you're probably thinking is Colin Johnson and Ed Too Tall. No, my face cam is blocking it. They're not dolphins and you know what? You're right, but I wanted to use them. So you know what? I added them to the team, but we do have a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of actual upgrades for the dolphins. The first one being right here, Dan the freaking man finally got a new card. We're going to be rocking past lead elite on him and how Rob master. He has that really good slinger one release. So I don't really even think we need the gunslinger i would like to have like a fearless or something if we're playing like a really heavy blitz but i think it's fine looking at his attributes man up to 85 speed man dan marina with 85 speed is really really nice and you can see across the board literally perfect accuracies 99s everywhere and the other big time upgrade on the offense we got a new b marsh finally man you see right there we had to put on the sexy dolphins card art 99 overall on the power up with his uh new veteran card and you see right here man first off he's six foot five he's six foot five 99 speed great catching great route running across the board he even has 95 run block like this card is absolutely amazing and i think he's one of the best receivers in the game and that's really it for the offense i was thinking about maybe taking backfield mismatch off of reggie bush so we could start mike pouncey but i do want to go ahead and just have the one ap secure protector in malik mcdowell and i don't really think y'all would really care too much about an offensive lineman now on the defense you're going to notice our ap setup is a little bit weird once again it seems like every time i drop a new video i'm running some sort of new defense and today we're going to be running the 6-1, man. We're going to run the 6-1. I have not ran it all year long, and I'm going to be using this man right here, Tyreek Hill. I was playing with him a little bit earlier with just this lurker ability on him, the golden ticket right here. I had a lot of fun with it, and it, I was actually pretty successful as well. 99 speed, 99 excel. I feel like this guy moves different like, i don't know if it's because i'm used to using like people like ted hendrix jimmy graham who yeah are a little bit slower i feel like i can start at the line of scrimmage and if i take good angle can absolutely just lurk the mess out of a post and i've just had a lot of fun using this tyree kill as a user i know he's 5'9 but like i said man it has been a ton of fun and he even has 97 change of direction i did go ahead and pick tony casillas casillas as our season reward master i feel like that was obvious choice for this team and the final upgrade of the team right here we got the x man we finally got a good xavian howard card they really hold him with his 92 but this card did not disappoint at all man we're rocking acrobat and pick artists on him and you know we had the x factor him up but attribute wise first off he's six foot one so he's not he's not a small corner by any means up to 99 speed 99 excel 99 agility 98 man 96 zone 96 press and he has 95 play rec i mean he's just an absolutely perfect corner and this was the x card that the Dolphins theme team freaking deserved all year, man. I'm glad we finally got it. Wish he would have came out a little bit earlier, but hey, I'm not going to complain too much. And then yeah, offense, we're in the Patriots playbook. Defense, we switch over to the Dolphins. I will say we added some fire jerseys as well. We're rocking the throwbacks on this account. So yeah, man, we talked up this team a ton. Let's see if our new defense and the new additions to the squad can help us and just absolutely dominate in head to head. I'll catch y'all when we're in the game. And as we're loaded into the game, man, I would greatly appreciate it. If you are new, you hit the like button and subscribe, especially if you're liking the video so far, man. We upload daily Madden content, and my God, his top three looks vicious. But y'all, he's rocking some throwback Patriot unis right here, man. I haven't seen, I haven't played against these unis all year long. And right here, we're going to go ahead and start it off with a little Reggie Bush run. Only looking for Colin Johnson or Brandon Marshall. Let's see what we got this time. He's going to be in this man coverage right here, and we had square wide. 
wide open, just got screamed at. Right here, we're doing the exact same thing. We do have a deep post on the field though. And again, why are we just getting screamed at? What is going on here, man? We're looking for square or we're looking for circle deep. And we have Ed Too Tall right there. Ed Too Tall, don't sell me. Let's go, man. Ed Too Tall all the way into the end zone. Touchdown, man. Let's go. All right, he's going to be in pistol ace, which I have no idea how to defend. I'm not going to lie to you. And I don't think he has a skate partner, so that's a positive right there. That is not open. That's the X-Man, man. First play on defense for Xavier Howard. He gets the pick. I mean, could we have asked for a better start to the freaking game, man? We're going to keep running tight end whip uh, right like this, and we're just going to keep trying to beat the man coverage, man. That's what we're going to try to do. And right here, we have Reggie Bush in the flats. Reggie Bush hit him with the spin move. Reggie Bush, good blocks. Colin Johnson, let's go. Squad's playing fantastic right now, man. Right here, we're looking for uh, Colin Johnson right here. Deep on the corner route. We have him. That slinger one release saved us right there let's go i did notice travis kelsey getting crazy shedded so we're gonna go ahead send a little double team block right here on him so travis kelsey gets a little bit of help hopefully that doesn't screw up my entire protection right here uh we have our little uh flat with brandon marshall brandon good catch i'm gonna lie to you i'm doing the exact same thing because this dude didn't have no type of defense for uh y option wheel right here which a lot of people don't you know which a lot of people don't i get it right there reggie bush that's just too easy man that's too easy i want to keep mixing up our coverage shell this is what it's looking like first the trips right here i'm curious to see what he does because we just have to really watch the running back that's all i'm worried about right there westry why is he on the field he doesn't have acrobat oh i sold i sold Westry just is not supposed to be on the field that that's better now now we got ed too tall out there the the same thing is not happening again okay the same thing is not happening again though we're just going to be on the running back the entire way right here uh he motioned over i don't like this i really don't like this i really don't like this and that's xavier howard second pick of the they ask you game. how you are you just have to say that you're fine and you're not really fine. you just can't get that's honestly just a great dot by my opponent and I just have to respect it, man. All right, first and 10 right here. We're looking for Colin Johnson right here. Hopefully he's in a cover three type shell and we could have Colin Johnson for a lot of freaking yards right there. We just have Ed Too Tall once again. Ed Too Tall balling out for us too. We're going back to a similar play right here. I just hope we can catch him in the Mike Blitz instead of being in a cover two. Right here, we're looking on the deep sideline for Colin Johnson. We have him, but we get sacked. We shouldn't have sent five out right there. So every time he's audible over two, to uh, this uh, 335 wide, he's been in cover two. So we're gonna go ahead, try to catch him right here. We're just gonna have an angle route on our running back to try to distract the user. And we should have Ed Too Tall, Dan Marino, please. Dan Marino, nah, Dan Marino's the best. Dan Marino is the freaking best. What a dot. What an absolute laser, man. All right, we did a little subbing around. We put Ed Too Tall on Ed Too Tall side, so I don't think we have to worry about getting bombed anymore. Right there, Byron Jones. What? What is happening? What is happening? Just got to be on the running back right there. Just make a tackle. Good tackle, Tyreek. Here, we're going to fake like we're going to be on the running back. Um, Actually, we do have to be on the running back. And right there, that's just Edge Threat Elite bailing us out. Let's go. Fourth and eight right here. We're running cover two. Um, I just want to see what he will go to. And right there, please, can, can we get a swat? No. Right here, we just got to watch the tight end. That's all I'm worried about. We have everything else manned up. And, oh, uh, man, we should have just stuck with the running back. Oh, that's on me. We're making him work, though. We're making him work for everything, man. He is not having an easy drive. I will go ahead and tell y'all that. He is not having an easy drive. And right there, Xavier and Howard. That should have been pick number two. Oh, he's playing with fire, man. He is playing with fire. If he has a streak to the tight end, he has a touchdown. I'm not going to lie to you. He has a touchdown. And I'm okay with giving him a touchdown. I want to have a little bit of time to go ahead and try to score the ball, man. And right there, that's Xavier Howard. Guess what that is? Take number two of the game. Xavier Howard pick six this. Xavier Howard. No way. No way. We have Charles Haley at offensive tackle because you like to throw pick six. I am so upset, man. I just want my Xavier Howard to freaking get a pick six. Right here, though, we're going back to uh, looking for Colin Johnson on the sideline right here. We should have him. Yep, we have him, but we just get sacked, man. See, this is the one problem I will say uh, when I uploaded this video of like my best AP offensive line setup. It's the fact that 
Travis Kelsey one-on-one -on -one, uh, is not a good site, man. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's not a good site. But right here we have Colin Johnson. Oh my God, I wish that would have been pass let up a little bit more. And uh, he just ran right through me. It's okay. We'll get a stop. We'll get a stop. I wait a second longer. It's a dot, man. It's a freaking laser, but it's fine. All right, we're going to go ahead, man him up right there. And we're going to go ahead, be on the tight end. We're watching wherever the tight end goes. That's really all we're worried about. Everything else... Oh, he was throwing a pick, man. He was throwing another pick. I'm really liking this defense, though. It's honestly a ton of fun to run because I'm getting super adjusty behind the coverage. And uh, he's having... We're, we're making our opponent work. This is probably... Some of the best defense I've played on the channel, I'm not going to lie to you. Like I said, I, I don't know how he just ran the ball, though, on this defense. It really doesn't make sense. Um, why are we getting pancaked over there? Guys, what's going on, man? What is going on on the left side of the field, man? What is happening? What is freaking happening, man? He's going to go ahead and try to run the ball again. Tyreek Hill, good tackle. Third down. Let's try to hold for three. We just got to be on the running back the entire way right here. And oh, oh, pick it. Oh my God. They call it the get lucky defense for a reason. They call it the get lucky defense for a reason, man. Hey, remember when you celebrated with me with Ed Too Tall? That's what I like to call a fire gameplay, man. I hope y'all did enjoy that, man. I felt like that was a great gameplay, man. Definitely showcased what the squad can do. Wish we got Brandon Marshall a little bit more involved, and I wish we wouldn't have thrown a freaking pick with Dan the man. But hey, that guy definitely kind of knew what he was doing. I mean, he was just lobbing up streaks on offense, but his defense, you can kind of tell what he, he kind of knew what he was doing a little bit. Yeah, man, that 6-1 defense, man, is no joke, especially getting super adjusted behind it, man. Zonka, Phillips, man, they played amazing. I just have to make sure Chris Westry is not on the field to start the game. Kind of costed us a pick, but can we talk about, okay? One game played with Xavier Howard, two picks. Two picks, should have had a pick six as well, man. Hey, he's the best corner in the league for a reason, you know? Yeah, man, I hope y'all did enjoy this gameplay, man. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and also subscribe. Also, feel free if you want to check the links down in the description. We have a very active Discord community, and I stream over on Twitch a lot. We're going to be grinding the Twitch streams here soon. Like I said, man, in previous videos, just graduated. So kind of trying to get back on a routine and a schedule, like working out. Eventually, you know, stream a couple hours every day maybe every day we'll try we'll try but yeah man i hope y'all did enjoy this video like i said i appreciate y'all clicking on to it i hope y'all have a great rest of your day other than that though man has been your boy dill and i'm out peace y'all